everyone. I'm Joy. This is... What's your name? No way. Okay. And welcome to our channel. So today, I am going to talk about distance learning. Share ko lang yung mga experiences namin for the past Science. two months. So, si Noel was enrolled um, in a Montessori school, the Nazareth School. So, before, nursery siya and she skipped one level. Ngayon, she's already in kindergarten. So, I want to share with you our experiences with distance learning. Okay, so, um, the first thing that we did was to uh, make a routine for her. So, last summer, actually, I started na siya na like homeschooling. So, um, I checked out some free online classes sa Facebook and um, in-start ko na siya um, mag-immerse. This is Easter, by the way. So, in-start ko na siya mag-immerse sa online classes like art classes and yeah arts and crafts PE like yung mga yoga classes they're all free so medyo naka-adjust siya ng mabilis well adjusted naman siya so last um for the past 2 months since we started the first week was very very tough kasi uh I just gave birth, as you can see. So, may maliit pang baby. And we only have a small space here sa house namin. So, medyo nahirapan ako sa setup. Kasi usually, uh, I go sa school nila, I drop her off, and pick her up after na lang ng school. But, this time, lagi kaming nasa bahay. So, it's a good thing then, kasi lagi namin nakikita si Noel. Ayan. So, yun yung isang um, good thing about distance learning. Lagi mo kasama yung anak mo. So, um, I'll, I'll share some tips lang based on our experiences. So, the first tip is to um, set up a specific area for learning. So, kahit maliit yung space mo, make sure that meron kang um, small corner doon to put all your, uh, all the things that your your kid needs. So, like yung mga school supplies, yung books, yung notebook. I'm gonna show you uh, our, uh, a video of our setup. Then, um, after a while, your kid, like for us, you know, uh, madali siyang naka, I mean, naka-adjust kasi nakita niya na everyday she has to go in front of the screen and, you know, nakikita niya yung mga things niya for school. Kaya mas madali. And then, um, based on our experience too, Tip number two is uh, make a routine nga. So, katulad ng sinabi ko earlier, since medyo nag-start na siya ng homeschooling from summer, medyo well-adjusted na siya. So, madali, medyo madali for her na maka-adjust kasi uh, na-immerse na siya before. So, you know, kapag ka um, may routine ka for your kid, madali, mas madali para sa sa'yo, mas madali din para sa kid mo, and hindi na siya, hindi na siya ma, masyadong mababaguhan. Medyo familiar na siya sa surroundings. She's gonna know na every day is gonna be a study day. So, yung sa class nila, um, based sa 
class nila. Yung online classes nila. Start starts at 8 a.m. So, nag-start yung class nila at 8 a.m. Then, um, after 30 minutes to 45 minutes, meron silang like 15 minute break. So, they have to close their eyes, eat their snacks. After that, they're gonna go back sa, sa class. Of course, sa computer. Pero, um, another 30 to 45 minutes again, then they're gonna have another 15 minute break. And then, yung last class na niya, babalik siya. So, nag-end usually yung class nila at 10.45 a.m. So, yun. So, medyo maaga yung classes ni Noel. So, isa pa, um, I want to tell you is, make sure na naka, nakabihis din sila for school. So, as for us, nag- um, nag-uniform din siya. Pero, yung casual uniform lang. Yun lang yung hinihinang school. That's that's the required shirt lang for your yeah. everyday classes. Ayun. Except yung PE classes niya. So, she has to wear her PE shirt. Ayun. Um, and also, the last tip that I can give you is um, teach your kid how to be independent. Ayan. So, katulad ko, so, may baby kami, I have to attend to his needs too in the morning. I have to feed him and I have to give him a bath. While si ate, si ate Noel, she's <laughs> continuously, you know, attending her online classes. So, same, same, same kasi yung time na ano, nag, um, nag school siya and nag nag feed si baby. What else? Ayun, that's it. I think that's it. So, si Noel pala, um, she knows how to click the link. I know how to read them. Yes. So, no summer, I started her to learn how to read and write. So, meron kaming mga time for spelling. Spelling time. Yeah, spelling time, reading time. I give her a, a bit of... Um, schedule them for reading and for writing and for coloring for arts and crafts so yun yung mga ginawa namin before so medyo adjusted siya naman yes P ito and yoga yeah <laughs> that's our favorite I know how to yoga what else I think that's it so I hope you guys learn something based on our experience and Oh, baby. <laughs> um, sana you're not gonna have a hard time to uh, with distance learning, especially ngayon. Talagang yan ang usong uso because meron tayong pandemic. And okay. when this is over, I hope na maging normal na ulit yung activities natin, mm -hmm. like going to school physically, not yung distance learning lang from the computer. I I think it's better. So, ayon. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Bye! Subscribe! <laughs> bye! Say bye-bye, Easter. Bye-bye!